Opening shapefiles with GeoPandas is actually pretty easy. If you have all of your imports set up okay, which we do, it only takes one line. So right now, we're in the opening shapefiles Jupyter Notebook. So right here. The shapefile that we want to open is inside of the states directory. So if we open it up, we see all of these files, and this is the one that we're going to open, states.shp. This is our shapefile. So the one line to open a shapefile is states equals gpd read file states forward slash states dot shp. Give it a second to read it in, and there we go. So this code is not too crazy. Right here, hey, geopandas, read in the file of states.shp in the state subdirectory. If you use pandas a lot, you might think this is a little weird. With pandas, when you read in a CSV file, you use read CSV. When you read in an Excel file, you use read Excel. With GeoPandas though, no matter what kind of file you're opening, you use GPD read file. So no matter what it is, you're gonna use read file. There is not a read shape file command with GeoPandas, just read file. So you'll also want to make sure you're using gpd.read file instead of pd.read file. Remember, what we're working with is GeoPandas. It's the geographic geospatial expansion to pandas. If you just typed pd.read file, you would be saying, hey pandas, read in this file for me. Pandas would say, I don't know what read file is, I don't know what a shape file is, all of this is terribly, terribly confusing. So, gotta make sure GeoPandas is what you're using to read that file in. Thirdly, make sure that the file that you're opening, when you're opening a shape file, is the SHP file. As we've discussed before, when you get a shape file, it's usually a zip full of all kinds of files. Read file is not going to work on that zip file. First, you're going to have to extract it. And when you do extract it, it'll give you file after file after file. And once you have all of those files, the one that's important to open is .shp, the shape file. GeoPandas knows that when you open up that shape file, it'll also read in the projection file the database file, the index file. Everything else you need will happen automatically. So when you download a shape file, you unzip it, you find out where that SHP is, and you can just use this one line here to read in that shape file.